Hey guys, Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to solve a non-homogeneous differential equation using the method of undetermined coefficients. So let's go ahead and take a look at this example here. So we have y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y is equal to 2. So our first step is we want to find our complementary solution. So our complementary solution is the solution to the homogeneous version of this differential equation here. So our homogeneous differential equation is the following. We have y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y is equal to 0. Okay, and now the next step is to find our auxiliary equation. And essentially all we do when we're finding our auxiliary equation is we're replacing our y double prime with an m squared, our y prime with an m, and when it comes to the constant term times y, all we do is just write our constant term. And then we go ahead and factor this. So factoring this, we end up with m plus 1 times m plus 2 is equal to 0. And then we get our two roots, which are m is equal to negative 1 and m is equal to negative 2. So in this case here, we have two real and distinct roots. So we have a case 1 situation. So that means that our solution is going to be of the following form. So we have y is equal to c1e to the m1x plus c2e to the m2x. So let's go ahead and plug in our m's. So we end up with the following for our complementary solution. We have yc is equal to c1e to the negative x plus c2e to the negative 2x. Okay, so now our next step is to find our particular solution. So when it comes to finding our particular solution, what we're going to want to do is take a look at the form of the right-hand side of our differential equation when it's in standard form. A lot of people refer to this as g of x. And so in this case here, the form of our g of x term is just a constant. So we're going to go ahead and assume that our particular solution is of the following form. yp is equal to a. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this two times, and then we're going to plug it into our differential equation and solve for what a is equal to. So taking its first derivative, we have yp prime is equal to 0, and yp double prime is equal to 0 as well. So now let's go ahead and plug in yp, yp prime, and yp double prime into our differential equation. So we end up with 0 plus 3 times 0 plus 2a is equal to 2. So these just cancel out and we are left with 2a is equal to 2. And then now let's go ahead and solve for a. So we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2 and so we end up with a is equal to 1. So we can go ahead now and plug this back in for a in the yp equation. So we end up with yp is equal to 1. So now we have our complementary solution in our particular solution, and now we can go ahead and add those two together to get our general solution. So we have our general solution is equal to c1e to the minus x plus c2e to the minus 2x and then plus our particular solution, which is just equal to 1. And we have our final answer. And so that is how you solve a second order non-homogeneous differential equation when the right-hand side of the differential equation is equal to some constant. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.